Hi, this is Eric at Blue Mountain Precision. I wanted to put a short video out there for our prefit users. Um, today we're going to be switching out a uh, prefit barrel from a stainless steel 6 dasher barrel to a 6.5 Creedmoor carbon fiber proof barrel. These are all heads based to this timed action from Lone Peak Arms. In the vise here, we've got our fusion action. I'm going to go over the tools here real quick. What we got, um, this is a Brownells uh, barrel vise with aluminum uh, inserts. 1.2 inch and 1.25 inch is all you're going to need <clears throat> for custom barrels unless you're working on something much larger. And then, so that's going to take care of the vise. Comes with an Allen wrench and all that so you can tighten them up. And then you'll need a You'll need some uh, cotton swabs here, or uh, Q-tips work great. Uh, some brake cleaner, a uh, clean rag, <clears throat> a good heavy duty wrench, half inch drive wrench, a seven eighths socket, a torque wrench, set half inch torque wrench set to 90 foot pounds. That's what we're gonna be torquing our barrel to. And your pre-fit barrel. This is the carbon fiber barrel we're going to be putting on this action. So anyways, and then another tool I do like to use, which everybody has, is an indicator so we can measure that. Um, this is already in there at 1.25 bushings. We can measure this one, 1 1.2, so we're going to have to swap them. So let's get into this. This is also a Holland's uh, wrench here, Remington 700 style. a ratchet, a half inch ratchet, or a breaker bar, and we're going to pop that loose. We're going to take that back out. see that there's some molly left on the threads. I always put this molly paste is what I use. You can get that at any of your auto parts stores in town uh, or in Amazon. That works really well. It's not grease. We're going to wipe this excessive amount of that off. I'm going to screw a thread protector on here. Bust these loose and get this barrel out of our way. All of our prefits come with a nylon protector on them. It's very fast, very simple to do this. These barrels are head spaced and pre-fit to the actions that we sell them for. Put that off. Not for now. Put that off the side. Now we're going to switch out our bushings. Put the 1.2 inch bushings in there. Again, you can use that caliper to verify. I like to put the lube on the barrel afterwards. This stuff that you see on here is rosin. That's for anti kind of caking and uh, not to gall up. Get the bushing out of there, silly. Um, you don't want the bushings to gall up your steel or your Cerakote job. So use extra amount of that when you're doing Cerakote. A barrel with any kind of finish on it like Cerakote or a nice stainless finish, mirror finish or a bead blast finish. It doesn't hurt to use a little extra rosin on there. We're going to torque that down. We're only going to 90 foot pounds so just nice and snug as, as tight as you get to go. And then we're going to take the Molly paste and we're going to put a little bit of that on those beautiful threads. Stainless on stainless can gall. Um, we do this on our titaniums as well. Any of our actions, we always like to put this on. We're just going to smear this around like so. I just like to kind of put it on the first half to three quarters of the way down the threads. Make sure none of that cotton gets into the threads either from your swab. And that's going to work well right there. Get that off the edge. You just don't want it to build up in front of the action. 
on the action face because this could it would it would uh, it'd be a mess. You could actually have a bunch in there, and you will we wouldn't have solid contact between metal and metal. So now we're going to take that cotton swab and clean that off. We're going to take our rag and clean that face off like so. Get that clean and ready to install. We're going to take a little cleaner, which I have a little bit down in there. We're going to take a little bit of cleaner on that. We're going to hit that face, clean that face nice. And we're also going to clean this edge right here. And then take the opposite end that's clean so you can verify that that shoulder is clean. Make sure the contact is nice and solid, metal to metal. Makes top accuracy to have a good shoulder joint. We're just going to screw it on there. And nothing's building up in front of the action because I cleaned out the old stuff that was already accumulated in the action. We're going to reinstall our action wrench. Get our 7 ace socket off of our ratchet. Grab our half inch torque wrench that's preset at 90 foot pounds. A couple of clicks and we're done. That's it, guys. That's all you have to do. This rifle just went from match range rifle in a 6 dasher to a 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, all you got to do is change out magazines and go have fun. So anyways, this is Eric from Blue Mountain Precision showing you how to install one of our pre-fit, pre-headspaced barrels on your Fusion Lone Peaks or we can also do this on our, the Impact Action as well, 737R Impact Action. So anyways, thanks, appreciate it, shoot straight.